Yeah, good morning, traders. I think sentiment has taken a bit of a hit, but it could have been a lot worse. If we have a look at yesterday's trade in Asia, we were watching you know, big moves to the downside in the Hong Kong market. The Chinese markets were under pressure. We started seeing dollar C and H, the offshore yuan cross moving higher, and it looks like it wants to break out. People were a little bit concerned, not just because of the, you know, the regulatory issues that we've been seeing around tech firm, firms being listed in the US and the involvement that we've been seeing from China's authorities, but the speculation that we're going to see reserve ratio requirement cuts. Now, the Chinese are window dressing this and saying that you know, the Fed are going to be tapering its asset purchase program. We need to offset that situation. But the markets are saying, well, hang on, what's going on? We know that the credit impulse is falling. Chinese growth is slowing down. Why the need to cut reserve ratio requirements? And that's really been a big issue. And as we've seen dollar CNH moving, high we've seen Aussie dollar Kiwi dollar the Chinese proxies coming under pressure as well and that's taken some of the risk out for markets European markets were down pretty hard we saw the MIB down 2.6 percent which is a 3.2 Z score move the IBEX was down pretty hard the euro stocks was down over two percent we should see those markets open a little bit higher when it comes back online given the moves that we've seen in the S&P and if you have a look at the S&P intraday tape you can see we traded down to 42.89, so things were looking pretty ugly, but a bid has come back in. Now, we've closed lower on the session, and Asia will feast on that today, but it's certainly come off the lows. We closed at 43.20. Now, 87% of stocks were lower. Financials continue to take a battering because of what we've been seeing in the flatter curve. You know, two US 10-year rates got down to 124. They closed at 129, so again, off the lows. And we also saw crude prices having a really strong move off the lows. 70.76 was the low. It closed at three and a half percent higher off that. So energy stocks in Asia really closely watched the day. But you can add the Delta variant, you can add the Tokyo not allowing spectators, you can talk about disagreement at OPEC. There's a number of reasons why markets are getting a little bit more concerned. Asia could be a much watch today.